Welcome back to the Climate Realism video series. So today at my desk, a friend of mine slacks me, I don't know if any of you slack, but he slacks me an article titled, You Must Not Do Your Own Research When It Comes to Science. So obviously, I assume this is the Babylon Bee, and it's going to be something saying like, you must listen to the consensus, don't do your own research, research is bad. Nope, comes from Forbes. Forbes actually put out an article titled, and I repeat myself, you must not do your own research when it comes to science. So this article was written by Ethan Siegel, and he starts it off saying, research both sides and make up your own mind. It's simple, straightforward, common sense advice. We agree there. Later in the first paragraph, the author writes, the techniques that most of us use to navigate most of our decisions in life, gathering information, evaluating it based on what we know, and choosing a course of action can lead to spectacular failures when it comes to a scientific matter. So there you have it. You should not research things on your own. You should not form your own opinions. You should not be an individual. You should listen to what the scientists are. Oh, and if there's scientists on the other side, listen to the side that has the most scientists. Oh, and by the way, since they don't talk to you directly, just listen to what the media says the scientists are saying. That's the thought process here. And then when you say, listen to what the media says the scientists are saying, what media sources? Do we trust CNN? I don't. Do we trust Fox News? They're a bit better, but I still don't. I, I don't really like any of these sources. So which ones do I follow? Which ones are talking to the right scientists? It, it doesn't make that clear. It just says, don't think for yourself. Don't research for yourself. And I quote the title again, you must not do your own research when it comes to science. So this has become Orwellian. We've reached a point where Forbes, a very mainstream publication, is now telling us that we should not research anything on our own. We should just take what they say as fact. So the majority of this Forbes article is about COVID and it's about climate change. And it's saying, if you go on the internet, you can find points of view on each side of the debate. Some people will say that maybe we shouldn't be locked down for, it's been basically a year now. Maybe we should have opened up a bit, let people go to their jobs and develop some sort of herd immunity. Now, apparently that's a bad opinion. That's dangerous. And it's also some people are out there like me saying that climate change isn't man-made and catastrophic. It's a natural phenomena and we should deal with adapting to a changing climate because we are not the primary drivers of the climate. But the argument that they make is that, well, you could go on the internet, and by they, I mean Forbes, you could go on the internet and you could find people that say the earth is flat. Because of that, you could walk away saying, oh, wow, the earth must be flat. And for that reason, you shouldn't go on the internet and research the issue because you don't have the personal intelligence or agency to determine the earth isn't flat. So essentially, if you look at any issue, you can find evidence on both sides. And I'm not saying that there's evidence for a flat earth, but you can find information on both sides. And because of that, you should just listen to what the media says and take it as fact. The media tells us that COVID is the worst thing ever and we need to lock down forever. They tell us that climate change is man-made and catastrophic and we need to put just incredibly onerous taxes on everyone that Washington bureaucrats who are not scientists come up with. So Forbes really went out and said, you shouldn't research issues. You should just take what we tell you as fact. That's the most Orwellian thing we've ever covered. And it's just laughable, but also frightening that a lot of people actually believe this kind of thing. So I urge you, go out, do your own research, watch videos that are, have differing opinions than this one, watch videos that aren't me that have the same opinion as this one. Watch everything. The best thing you could do is what the, the author says you shouldn't do in the first sentence. Research both sides and make up your own mind. That is what you should do. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope gee, I'll, I'll link the Forbes article. It's crazy. Have a good one. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and consider donating to the Heartland Institute to support more vibrant free markets, greater individual liberties, and more videos like this one.